everyone, this is Lori here with Lori Hooks. Welcome, thanks for hanging out with me today. So today's video is a yarny catch-up video where I talk about the crochet and knit projects that I've been working on recently. Um, and today is, I'm recording in a different place and I've already done this once and the sound came out not very great so we're going to try again and I'm hoping the sound is better this time and I think if it's not I'm just going to have to deal with it because or maybe it's you guys that are dealing with it because um, I don't know what I can do differently. Um, my daughter is using the tripod that I usually use it's her tripod and um, she is doing a um, the next few days she is um, creating some footage and then she has to do a highlight video for the general meeting for the um, for the church that she works for during the summer um, and she needed it so it took priority over me creating a video for you guys and I should have recorded this morning before she took the tripod but I didn't have time so here we are, we're chatting now, and um, I hope that you guys are all go doing well. If you want to tell me what you've been working on recently, I'd love to hear from you, and um, I'll get on with what I've been working on. So starting out with my finished object, I don't have it in here anymore. Um, so my finished object is Polly the Bee, and um, I am going to insert a couple clips here of... Um, her parts before I assembled her and then the final finished version of Polly the Bee. So here are her parts, her hair, her body, her hat, her antennas, her arms, her head, and her wings. So there's all of her parts before she got sewn together. Now we have finished Polly the Bee. Isn't she the cutest? So I had a lot of fun working on her. Um, she is a YouTube tutorial video um, in the and I'm not going to attempt to pronounce the YouTube channel's name I will put it here in text and I will insert the video in the description box below um, this lady has all kinds of cute dolls and um, animals bunnies bears Christmas things all kinds of cute stuff they are all so cute um, and I would call them all beginner to intermediate patterns because she does have YouTube tutorials for it all. And she does show you mostly how to do it, but she doesn't do it in slow-mo. Um, you have to kind of know how to do what you're doing in the first place. But she does give good explanation. Like, she doesn't explain anything either. It's all just written on the screen and then there's background music. So um, I tend to put her video on mute and um, leave the video playing while I watch TV or listen to another video or whatever while I crochet along with her. So um, she comes out so cute. She would be normally a very fun make, but I had to finish her in four days. I started her shoes and her legs a few weeks ago and then got distracted with other projects for a few weeks and did not work on her. And then um, I guess it was the Sunday or Monday past. Um, my father-in-law invited us to their home for a barbecue on the weekend and I knew that my sister-in-law was gonna be there. So I decided that I was gonna get her done. So I got her done in like four days. So. It was a lot of work and a lot of rushing to get her done in that amount of time but um, I'm so happy with how she came out and I think that she's so cute 
and uh, my sister-in-law seemed to really like her and so I'm very happy. And to make her I used a uh, sheepies katona and a 2.2 millimeter hook. So that's Polly the Bee done. I'm very happy with her. So the next, on to the next thing that I've been working on, um, and I should have grabbed the full cake that I have, but I did not. But to work on this project, I am using cotton ripple cakes. This is what the label looks like when it's not ripped or when you're trying to hold it together so it looks like it's not ripped. This is 100% cotton and the color that I'm using is called Cory. So I started a top-down raglan style cardigan with this a while ago and I just I didn't like how it was working up so I frogged it out and decided that I was going to make a cardigan out of panels where you make like a back panel and two front panels and then you do the sleeves. Um, and it was around that time, excuse me, that I decided that I was going to do that, that crystal over a bag a day, and I wasn't going to use a particular pattern for my panels. I just hadn't decided what stitches to use for my panels. And crystal over a bag a day decided to do a crochet make along where you design your own wearable based on one of her stitches. And I thought, perfect, this will give me a due date to get this done. So I took a few weeks to get started on it, but once I finally got it started, I've got some amounts, well, some things done with it. And one of them is behind me. So I got the back panel done. This is the back panel. And so I'm working the rows this way, of course, but I'm going to sew it together this way and have the stripes going up and down. And the stitch that I'm using for this, I believe is called licorice zigzag or something like that. I will link Crystal's tutorial below for this stitch. Um, and it's a four row repeat. It's not a super easy stitch. It is one row of V stitches and one row of double crochet three together. And you do what you do at the beginning and the end of the row makes it so that the they don't come out evenly they're kind of zigzags so I'll show you what I mean the best I can so if we look at just the double crochet three together we have one here and then the next one is over a little bit and then back to the first one again so that's the four row repeat and these rows in between are the v-stitch rows so um, now that I finally got the pattern into my head and I don't have to look every row to see how I'm going to start and finish the row because I know what to do in the center of the row, it's just seeing what you need to do at the start of the finish. Now that I've got it in my head, it's um, you know a pretty mindless make and I'm just crocheting along and I'm enjoying it. So I've got a back panel done and I've got the first front panel almost finished. I've got a few more rows to do. That's where I'm at with my summer cardigan. I'm calling it a summer cardigan because it's cotton and it's something for me to um, you know, throw in my bag and bring with me on a day when you're going somewhere where the air conditioning is a little too much or something like that and you need a little bit more to cover up with. So, and hopefully in my next video, this sucker needs to be done because the crochet along needs to be submitted by June 15th. And that's my encouragement to get her done. June 15th. I think that's a week today. June, it's June 8th today. So yeah, it must be a week today. So I got a week to get this thing done, which I don't think is a problem as long as I don't have too many other things going on. So that is one thing that I've been working on. And the other thing I've been working on is a knit project. Um, so I started this one a, well, I actually started it last year because I made the first sock last year. This one was finished in October and then I just never got around to starting the other one and um, a few weeks ago I was like, you know what, I think I want to make some socks. I just finished that knit cardigan that took me quite a while and was a fair bit of work and I wanted to work on another knit project that was a little bit easier so decided to do some socks and I thought, okay. I can't start a new pair of socks. I need to finish the pair of socks that I already started. So I have this much of the leg done. I think I have 
this is round 64 so um, I need to do another 16 rounds of just plain knit rows and then um, we can start on the heel so I really enjoy just knitting along these plain rows. Um, I was, my father-in-law lives like an hour away, so I brought it with me in the car. I just, I have it in this little bag that I got from um, Crystal over at Chronically Crocheting. Um, and I want it on hers and I just, I keep it in this little bag and then I can grab it when we're going somewhere and throw in the car. And I can actually knit while we drive. I can't crochet while we drive. But I can knit. Maybe I was using the wrong crochet projects when I tried in the past, but knitting's working, so I've been knitting in the car when we're going to be in there for a while. And the yarn that I'm using for this is Mary Maxim Bamboo Stripes, and this is a 50% superwash wool, 25% nylon, 25% bamboo, and the color on this is Coral Reef. And I think it's really pretty colored yarn. <clears throat> So that is what I've been working on besides my wreath for the collaboration that I'm doing with Rebecca over at Yarn and Pajamas. And um, I think I've just done like a couple rows on the um, little, little something blanket that I'm working on that I showed last week in the um, crochet and chat that I did last week. Um, so I haven't had to work on that, but I, my focus is this cardigan to get it done. And if I have some extra time, I will, well, and my wreath. Those are the two priorities. And the next after that is that blanket and these socks, because they don't have a due date. I can finish them whenever. So what have you guys been working on lately? I'd love to hear from you and what you've been working on and what uh, yarn you're using for your makes. And... Um, know what you've been up to lately what's great in your life what's not so great in your life and um, yeah so thanks for hanging out with me today thanks for liking thanks for subscribing and um, I will see you next time on Lori Hooks bye everyone <laughs>